In this video, we're going to look at a reflection in the plane x equals 0. What would that matrix need to be? OK, now I'm going to go straight to another diagram, a separate diagram, because that's quite busy at the moment. OK, so we've got x, y and z. OK, and the way that we do this is we look at where those points 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1 have mapped to. OK, so here are my three points. This is the yz plane, which is the plane x equals 0. OK, so if I am reflecting in this plane, OK, then you can imagine that these points will remain fixed. It is this point that will map back through. So I haven't drawn that very well. Let's try that. OK, so this point will be reflected back. So this point, this point remained fixed. So 0, 1, 0 remains fixed. 0, 0, 1 remains fixed. But this point reflects back through. And so has gone from 1, 0, 0 to actually minus 1, 0, 0. So when we're looking for the matrix of this, 1, 0, 0 has mapped to negative 1, 0, 0. And 0, 1, 0 stuck where it was. 0, 0, 1 stuck where it was. So you could immediately um, identify from a matrix like this that the identity matrix has changed to that one being negative 1. So that means that it has reflected in that one plane Okay, which is x equals 0.